can't talk about equipping without talking about education. We want to raise godly men and women who are also well educated to impact our society, thereby transforming it and bringing it under the rule and the lordship of the almighty God. Praise the Lord. Glory, honor, and adoration be unto our God. Each year when we hit the month of June, I look forward to the PU Day when we give at our local assemblies to support Pentecost University to provide one of a kind godly education. Last year, all the locals did well. Thank you. And may God bless us all for our response to this act of giving. In fact, it is welling up great outcomes for Pentecost University and also carving treasures for all who gave to support PU. Paul describes this kind of thing in Philippians 4.18 as, They are a fragrant offering, an acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God. For this reason, dear ones, I'm convinced that God will meet all our needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. May I appeal that this year too, we come out of our all to give to support the great work God is doing at Pentecost University. The point is, dear ones, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully, as recorded in 2 Corinthians 9, 6. Welcome to Pentecost University, the University A+. Plus. The University A+. Plus. The University A+. Plus. The University A Plus! As far back as 1954, the Church of Pentecost started the World Mission Bible College. This Bible College transitioned over the years to become Pentecost University. But all of us here are proud to call the University A Plus. Over the years, Pentecost University continues to gather momentum and take a prestigious place in the community of universities, not just in Ghana, but across Africa and the rest of the world. Between last year's PU offering and this year alone, the university has rolled out many programs in addition to the already existing ones. These are not just programs rolled out for academic qualification and certification, but programs that are relevant for the industry. Among these include five Bachelor of Engineering programs. It is very humbling to say that Pentecost University is the only indigenous university in Ghana that is running Bachelor of Engineering programs by itself. All others run either Bachelor of Science in Engineering or a collaborative one. But in our case, we are running this by ourselves. Brothers and sisters, may I invite all of you to join us. Thank God Almighty for this favor is done for our church and the university. Apart from that, the university is the only private university selected along a public university to pilot the government of Ghana's free engineering program. This program offers nine science students opportunities to be admitted into engineering programs. We want to appreciate you and say thank you for the unwavering support and your generosity over the years towards the achievement of the University A Plus agenda. We at the academic office oversee that students' admissions effective records management and all other activities that pertain to the academic well-being of students are not compromised. Apart from academic expansion and growth, the university also continues to expand our infrastructure to accommodate more students. Pentecost University has been able to undertake so many infrastructure projects. One of them what we have on the slide. The first thing shows the foundation works. The second talks about or shows the structural works that is currently ongoing. We are at the third phase which is the third phase are demonstrated. Again with your support we should be able to get to the fourth picture which shows the completed work. And I pray that God will touch your heart so that we are able to achieve this dream. Your help, we've managed to procure or secure some items, which includes laptops, 
we are moving forward. We know technology is going at a high speed. So now we have these high performing laptops that will be used by staff doing their lecturing. Now we also have staff who expressed their joy when they came for the laptops and the pointers. The school managed to get them pointers as well. This is by your support. Now we have also MacBook for the business and corporate units. This will help in our social media activities, enhancing our social media activities. We also have smart bots. These are 75 inch smart bots. And these smart bots are combining the functions of the white board as well as the projector. What it means is, gone are the days you walk to a classroom, then anything you want to teach, you write it on the board. With the help of this smart board, you don't need any white board again. What you have to do is, is either you write with your finger or a stylus or electronic pen. Now, tips to the lecturers teaching accounting can also use the same board to share their words, notes. What it means is when you do any rough working here and you want students to have a copy, what you have to do is after the class, you share with the entire class or you send it to their email or WhatsApp line. These are Wi Fi or internet supported at their systems. So when you are connected to the internet, you can share it via any means. Then we have these equipment for the audiovisual studio. In this campus, you can have quality pictures, images anytime you want to do video. And we are also training students on how to use these gadgets. Thank you very much once again for your support. We are grateful. Running a project in this in Ghana is cost intensive. You need a lot of money to invest in project intensity. Unlike the public universities where all the expenses are taken up by the government. Public investors are not like that. We solely depend on our internally generated income to survive. But the good news is that in the coming years, through the vision of the Vice Chancellor, Apostle Professor Kadna Adekon Kodia, we have instituted uh, solid financial measures to ensure that the investors gain full financial independence in the coming years. We want to build the university up to a point that it can spread to the whole world and then last. This is one of the reasons of this university. As a university A+, class, we've not reached that point yet. I plead that everybody gives massively this year to help this university. Who knows, the future, the vice chancellor can be your son, the vice chancellor can be your sister, your father, your brother, or any of your relatives. The university is for all of us. It doesn't belong to only one person. Please give massively, and God will really bless you. Praise the Lord, beloved. We are thankful to God for another opportunity to have Pentecost University Offering Day. Hooray! We are grateful to God for your life, for how much you have been supporting Pentecost University. You have no idea what your support has been doing so far. It is lifting the university from one level of glory to another. I believe that some of our activities, you have seen them on social media already. But you wait. More of those are coming. I just want to encourage you that the money you are giving us, it is training people, it is subsidizing the courses, the cost that for the past three years, we have not actually increased the cost of some programs. The same amount people are paying, they have been paying over the years. It is because you are, you are giving us money to be able to manage the cost in such a way that it can be affordable. We are praying that a time will come when we will start even reducing costs because of the volume of money that will be coming. And we are also building infrastructure. We are also adding up to the facilities we have. In fact, the fact that God is blessing us is also visible in the evidence that more students are coming to Pentecost University. And of course, you understand, when more students are coming, we need more hostels, more classrooms, more administration blocks. So there is pressure on us, real pressure, 
We will not say because of the pressure we are going to cut down the number. I think that we rather need to grow and catch up and respond to the blessings God is giving to us. So we are counting on you to give us a lot more money. Give bountifully so that we can also expand our territory bountifully. The good news about Pentecost University, University A+, is that we are giving scholarship on fire. If I say scholarship on fire, what I mean is that we give academic scholarship to the students and we give spiritual fire to the students. So you come to Pentecost University, you buy one, you get one free. Buy the knowledge, you acquire the fire for free. So our slogan is acquire the knowledge, catch the fire. We want you to support this worthy cause. Beyond that, you remember the elders training program by the grace of God, it is still ongoing. Um, over 8,000 elders have graduated already. Um, quite a large number are currently participating and we are expecting that very soon we will bring it to the various local languages where we'll be having local languages elders training programs at your various areas we are trusting God for all these ones and for us to be able to do it you need to give us more money so we can continue subsidizing and expanding our territories and getting everything done in fact God is, has been so gracious to Pentecost University and as our covenant goes, God expects us to be self-supporting. That is why we are coming to the Church of Pentecost. Every local assembly support this worthy cause. You will benefit, your children will benefit, your grandchildren will benefit, the whole nation of Ghana will benefit, Africa will benefit, and the world will benefit. We want to encourage you that the money you are giving to us is being put to good use. So continue supporting this worthy cause and God will bless you. Remember that we are still possessing the nations to the glory of God. Thank you very much and God bless you. We pray and believe that as we equip our students to graduate as excellent students, to go into various spheres, to impact nations and bring about transformation, they need better facilities, better environment, better infrastructure, and it's all about money. In as much as God is helping us and leadership is encouraging us, we need your support also financially and uh, your prayer support spiritually to promote the kingdom of God. This generation, knowledge, is key. Education is powerful. The better our human resource capacity, the better our ability to make the necessary transformation. We pray and trust that God will touch your hearts to give more than you've ever given. And God, the faithful one, will replenish your store and will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. You will never regret the sacrifice. God is faithful. Support the kingdom business and God will support your business. So in 2008, I had opportunity to, be, I mean, to come to Pentecost University to study for my undergrad. And I had opportunity to study BSc accounting. You won't believe it that by the grace of God, through the training I received from Pentecost University, I have been able to go through life, finish two master's degrees and two PhDs. As I speak now, I have come back to my alma mater, Pentecost University, to help build the university by setting up a leadership and governance institute. I remember very well when um, I had to be sponsored by the church, um, when I was in level 200 and was not able to pay my fees. The church had to come in and sponsor my education, paid all my fees for me to be able to finish my first degree with the first class, to be able to go out there and transform life. This is what Pentecost University does to the ordinary person, to the ordinary Ghanaian. And so I want to encourage you that give out your best, go deep into your pocket and come out with a resource that can transform and change lives so that the ordinary person on the street will have the opportunity to encounter Christ and to be able to contribute his or her quota to the development of Ghana. Pentecost University, we are the University A+. Class. My name is Salome Chirma, a final year student of Pentecost University, 
and I'm reading BSc nursing. I am the fourth of six children of my parents and by the grace of God and the Church of Pentecost Scholarship Initiative, I've been the first among my siblings to be in the university. I want to thank the Church of Pentecost so much for this great opportunity. My dream of becoming a nurse is now a reality. Not just an ordinary nurse, but a nurse with a difference. I am ready to impact my spheres and my environment with kingdom principles and values I've obtained from Pentecost University, the University A+. Thank you. I'm happy standing here today to tell the entire world that the Church of Pentecost Scholarship Program has helped me to become the first person to attend university in my family. And for that, I am very much grateful to the entire church. The scholarship has helped me to become uh, transformed, to also impact in society. And from here, I am sure I am also going to impact society because I have gotten enough skills, I've gotten training from the prestigious university, that is Pinkos University, and that I am hopeful to impact in society at life. Thank you. Praise the Lord, glory, honor, and adoration be unto our God. You know I'm always excited to talk about Pentecost University because of what God is doing. His tangible presence from a humble beginning. He keeps lifting us from one level to another level. And we know that in as much as God is doing it, He's also doing it through you, through your generous support to Pentecost University. This is why on behalf of the Chancellor and the leadership of the university, we want to say a big thank you and God bless you for all the support you have provided for us. But you know what? It takes the living. In fact, King Hezekiah was right in stating in Isaiah 38 verse 19, it takes the living to praise God. The dead do not praise God. So it takes the living to do the work of God. So anytime we come to you, we are coming to you with excitement because we know you have become partakers of the glorious thing that God is doing through this university. And you will generously support this university on this occasion too. Let's just cast our mind back on global education. There are some big names, highly ranked institutions, but the truth of the matter is most of these institutions started as Bible schools. So our history is not far different from some of these big shots. But the difference is that now, if you go to this institution, it's very difficult to see practical Christianity demonstrated on campuses like that. You see, some of the big names and the intellectuals have become proponents of atheism and even promoting an agenda that is fighting against God. Very thing that has lifted them up. That is why it is no wonder the Bible warns us in Deuteronomy that when we have eaten and we've had our food, we should be careful to remember the Lord our God, for it is He who gives ability to make work. By the way, you see, the secret is, over time, whilst these institutions were advancing, the church delinked itself from the establishment. They began seeking their own ways, they began learning their own things, and it wasn't long, secularism took over and completely they deviated from God. But Pentecost University can make a difference. God is looking for an institution that will stand tall in godly education. On matters of intellectual excellence, God is looking for institutions that will promote the Daniels. On matters of godliness, God is looking for an institution that will stand tall in the Christian faith. And this is what we stand for. But truly, you see, we've got to be able to feed from our own bowl. This is why we always come to you to say that, please help us achieve this aim to reach the height that we want to achieve, to become the university A+, that we've been looking for, the university that promotes the best form of intellectual excellence but underpinned by biblical values. Please, it's a gentle appeal to all of you this day, as we are called to give, let us out of a cheerful heart give generously to achieve the university A+, agenda. May the Lord bless you.